सो जी नेक्स्ट पोएम है ती है चैपलिनेस्क एंड इट इज रिटन बाय हार्ड क्रेन हार्ड क्रेन वाज बोर्न इन 1899 इन ओहायो अमेरिका and began writing in his teenage years uh never had a college education but largely he was self educated uh quite interested in elizabethan dramatists like shakespeare marlowe poets like dun and 19th century french poets like rimbaud lapaul and beltran so this is the अपन मनो एक एरिया है जितन ही ड्रीव हिज इंस्पिरेशन हिज फादर वॉज ए कैंडी मैन्युफैक्चर एंड ही अटेम्पटेड टू डिसुएड दिस मैन फ्रॉम पोएट्री करियर सो पोएट्री इज नॉट एन एट्रैक्टिव करियर बीइंग अ पोएट एज सच बट क्रेन वॉज डिटर्मिन टू डू दैट सो लिव्ड इन न्यूयॉर्क केम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ poets like alan tait catherine porter e e cummings which we studied poem by and john tumor but uh, became a drunkard uh, chronic instability frustrated him admired t s eliot and uh, he combined influences from both european and american uh poets and traditional uh, versification uh, particularly american sensibility is reflected in his work draws from largely walt whitman uh that's a major work ah hai which is the breach which is the the breach ते वर्क त्याचं महत्वाचं आहे त्याच्यामध्ये काय आहे तर इट इज अबाउट अ विजन ऑफ हिस्टॉरिकल अँड स्पिरिच्युअल सिग्निफिकन्स ऑफ अमेरिका सो दिस काइंड ऑफ पोएम्स या त्याच्या ब्रिज या वर्कमध्ये आहेत लाईक इलियट क्रेन यूज द लँडस्केप ऑफ द मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्रियलाइज सिटी टू क्रिएट ए पॉवरफुल new symbolic literature uh, he committed suicide in 1932 at the age of 32 while sailing back to new york from mexico so a kind of troubled life he lived a son of candy manufacturer absorbed in literature especially interested in renaissance literature and dramatist of renaissance literature drew inspiration from contemporary french and english poets as well as american poets and uh, like romantic poets john keats and shelley this poet had a very short life span uh so another uh, work which uh, was published during his lifetime was white buildings and there were some letters and prose selection also so not very prolific writer khub sara asa nai literature available but fine uh the poem we have selected is chaplinesk right so chaplinesk basically means like chaplin and uh, chaplin is a well known figure worldwide for uh, the kind of humor he introduced in moving pictures which tya velala gela asas matla jaycha manun te movies asar so charlie chaplin uh, and his approach towards life kind of thing so let us see what poet makes out of it we make our meek adjustments meek adjustments contented with such random consolations as the wind deposits in slithered and too ample pockets so basically apan jala manto ki we accept whatever life throws at us and we make meek adjustments meek in a way uh, meek being polite not able to resist or not able to uh, 
in a way be be aggressive to achieve what we want to achieve contented contented manje ka is satisfied satisfied with whatever we have with some random consolations as the wind so he simile hai as the wind deposits in slithered and two ample ample means found everywhere pockets जस का हवा वाळू चे कण घेऊन येते आणि जिथं जागा मिळेल तिथे डिपॉझिट करत असते सो दॅट इज द वे ऑफ लाईफ वी हॅव ऍक्सेप्टेड कंटेंट फॉर वी कॅन स्टील लव्ह द वर्ल्ड हु फाइंड ए फॅमिस्ड किटन ऑन द स्टेप फॅमिस्ड व्हेरी हंग्री अँड very very hungry that is what famished and no recesses for it from the fury of the street or warm torn elbow covers so what is elbow covers so famished kitten is a, an image famished kitten is an image that appears <coughs> generally kitten cat uh, so famished kitten on step somewhere you are going in a building probably entering a building and you find famished kitten there and what you do right so you want to save it from the fury of the street right so people going and coming probably somebody will step on that kitten and that is why you take them with you warm torn elbow covered covered is hiding basically right so the sir pakshi पंखा खाली घेतात त्यांच्या पिलांना तसं तुम्ही किटनला सुद्धा सो यू हॅव दॅट वॉम फिलिंग खाइंड ऑफ सिंपथी एम्बेडेड इन यू सो दॅट इज वॉट द सेकंड स्टान्स ऑफ सेज सो द इमेज ऑफ फॅमिस्ड किटन अँड युअर बिहेवियर टुवर्ड्स दॅट सो इफ अ जे वी मस्ट नॉट दॅट this poem is not about i this poem is about v so the first stanza begins with v second stanza also begins with v third stanza we will side step and to the final smirk dally the room of that inevitable thumb that slowly shapes its pluckered index towards us facing the dull squint with what innocence and what surprise so this is a little bit becomes for we will side step and to the final final smirk smirk is a kind of smile which is conceited smile the la dally the doom do judgment and basically disaster right and dally the doom of that inevitable inevitable something which cannot be avoided thumb that slowly shapes shape shaping is like grating right so friction and probably upon one ki something which hurts gradually so that slowly shapes its plucker index towards us plucker index index probably upon index finger jar getla plucker index towards us facing the dull squint with what innocence and what surprise so we are facing life like this right so we are we are bruised in the process but we think that this is the way life uh, life is and we try to uh, do away with life as it comes to you that is what uh, the sense uh, this stanza makes and yet these fine collapses are not lies more than a pirouette of any pliant king so pirouette pirouette is going round right just a dance madhi mu aste ek payavar tumhi spin karta so spinning on one leg in dance so more than a pirouette of any pliant pliant crane manje pliant cane hai cane is stick right so pliant which can be uh, bent that is what pliant is so pliant cane our obscurity is our obsequies are in a way no enterprise obsequies means funeral rites so life and death so uh, the poet gives you a sense of life is not as easy as it appears but why the poem is titled uh, in a way chaplinesque so you laugh at 
or rather you try to enjoy whatever whatever comes your way right so that is what the sense of life that the poet is trying to convey so even the obsequies manje jala apan funeral rites manto in a way no enterprise no big deal right so that is what he says we can evade you and all else but the heart what blame to us if the heart live on right so if we live on that is not blame right so death has to come it will come when it has to come the game enforces smirks again same kind of smiles but we have seen the moon in lonely alleys make a grail of laughter of an empty ash can and through all sound of gaiety and quest have heard a kitten in the wilderness so a uh, kitten again appear in the in the last so you see uh, if you look at why why this kitten image appears in this poem why is it titled chaplinus right here don tin goshti apan lakshat getle tar apan lakshat ait ki life is not as easy as it appears and yet we have to live it on face it on and make most of what whatever we have so if you look at the kitten image you have a kitten which is famished okay you save the kitten and the last thing appears a grail of laughter of an empty ash can and through all sound of gaiety and quest so now uh, two things uh, appear here which which have uh, religious सिम्बॉलिक सिग्निफिकन्स एक आहे ग्रेल जे आर ए आय एल ग्रेल आणि दुसरा वर्ड याच्यामध्ये येतो तो येतो क्वेस्ट सो क्वेस्ट फॉर होली ग्रेल याच्यावर बरंचसं काही आपण म्हणूया की तुम्हाला वेस्टर्न लिटरेचरमध्ये सापडेल सो ग्रेल इज समथिंग दॅट आपण म्हणू ना की प्रेशियस थिंग्स बिकॉज दे वर यूज बाय ख्रिस्त right especially the cup and the platter that was used by christ for his last supper last dinner right so tar te to sense yacha madhe aplyala disto tar yacha madhe so what do we have in this poem is a comment on life and the kitten image and the shevatcha stanza madhe je kai images appear hotat tar te ahet grail and quest and again the sound of gaiety gaiety is happiness so uh, it is not uh, that life is positive but you have to make it positive now this comes from a poet uh, who who committed suicide at the age of 32 okay so uh, what attitude and approach towards life uh, a poet can have in this uh, in this way there uh, and the the use of pronoun we constantly is a sense of apan mano ki connectedness right so this is not what i am writing about myself or i am writing about anybody else right it is we together so this is we this is how we look at life so pahila jo stanza ahe tyacha madhe jo apan mano ki je words aplyala distat tar te ahe adjustments आणि कंटेंटेड राईट सो त्याला आपण म्हणतो ना की एक प्रकारचा दैववाद बरोबर म्हणजे जीवन हे असंच असत आणि त्याला आपण म्हणतो की हे विधिलिखित आहे हे घडणारच आहे असा जो अप्रोच आहे म्हणजे दोन अप्रोचेस आहेत की जे काय आपल्याशी घडत आहे ते आपल्यासाठी ठरलेलं आहे पण त्याच्यामध्ये बदल करू शकत नाही डेस्टिनी राईट 
And second thing is that I will make my destiny. That I will make my life. तर जनरल एटिट्यूड जो आहे तो काय आहे की जो सुरुवातीपासून आहे जो आपण म्हणतो की दैववादी सगळे लोक आहेत जे काही प्रारब्ध आहे किंवा नशीब आहे ते नशिबात असेल ते भेटेल नशिबात नसेल तर नाही भेटणार तर त्याच्यासाठी प्रयत्न करायची काय आवश्यकता नाही असा अप्रोच असणारे लोक बट सेकंड स्टान्स इफ वी लुक बिगिन्स विथ फॉर वी कॅन वॉट वी कॅन डू स्टील Still love the world. Right? Right? So, you know that life is difficult. You are contented with whatever you have. Contented is not a negative thing. Contented is not a negative thing. Contented is not a negative thing. And it is a very important thing. 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 आणि आपल्याला आजूबाजूचं काहीच दिसत नाही म्हणजे ज्या मोमेंट आपण म्हणू की द जॉय इज दॅट एव्हरी मोमेंट होल्ड्स फॉर यू यू निग्लेक्ट दोज जॉय अँड यू रन आफ्टर समथिंग विच इज अ काइंड ऑफ मिराज अ काइंड ऑफ इल्युजन राईट अँड दॅट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट सो हे सगळं लाईफ या पद्धतीने असली तरी राईट कंटेंटेड विथ सच रॅन्डम कॉन्सुलेशन ऍज द विन डिपॉझिट इन स्लीदर्ड अँड टू स्मॉल पॉकेट फाईन बट स्टील वी कॅन लव द वर्ल्ड हु फाइंड ए फॅमिस्ड किटन ऑन द स्टेप अँड नो रिसेसेस फॉर इट रिसेसेस म्हणजे वेअर इट कॅन बी सेफ द प्लेस वेअर यू ड्रॉप द किटन राईट अँड you can save it from fury of the street right probably it will die right if you leave it on street and step so or warm torn elbow covers elbow covers basically give, trying to give it warmth right so kutlai pranyacha pillow asta te gondasach asta right so tela jawal gyav asa vatna mansala sahajik hai right so that is what they do warm torn elbow covers now This is upon monarchy a kind of positive going towards. But if you look at the next stanza, we will sidestep. So we can and we side sidestep manje move away from something. So what we move away from and to the final smirk, final smile, dally the doom. Final smirk, dally the doom. So what does that mean? What is doom? Doom uh, is something western uh, mythology uh, the final day jala matla jata kiwa the judgment day right so that is what doom is This is what it is associated with. So this is our approach towards doom. That is inevitable. That is unavoidable. Right? So we know that the world is going to end. The question is when. Right? So two ways the world ends. Right? It ends for everyone. and it ends for me right so it will either end for you or the world will end for everybody uh, but, uh, there is a poem uh, i think ts eliot's poem the hollow man at where he says the world will end with a whimper not with explosion right so dying away right the breath going away like kind of thing so he says that um, we will side step and to the final smirk dally the doom of that inevitable thump dally the doom of that inevitable dally slowly the doom so we will we will step away from doom smiling at it so that is what even though we are contented we can take disasters that easily right so we can handle that disaster that easily that slowly shapes its pluckered index toward us slowly shapes so shaping is a upon one key friction right and it its pluckered 
index. So placard index, other index to put a finger matlan, but probably it refers to that. Hmm? So placard uh, uh, index, placard probably upon uh, the placard hota karanta chavar wrinkle set of small folds made that placard finger, right? So that is what probably it, it, it symbolizes aging of, of the uh, so index to work facing the dull screen. Facing the dull screen. About what? With what innocence and what surprise? So, uh, facing the dull screen, dullness uh, that comes to you when you face in different directions. Right. So squinting is related to eyes basically, eyes facing different directions. But together, upon get letter, we are facing opposite directions. We are looking at two different ways, uh, probably towards life and towards the world. And that is what we have in this stanza. So this stanza, we need to, with what innocence and what surprise. So what kind of surprise and what innocence. So we will face all these things like this right we have been facing manje apan hunto ki ya possibilities distant vatat asle tari apan je kai corona virus chi threat hai for example barobar ka nahi tari you you never know right whatever scientific advancements you make whatever life support systems you will be able to make so you can't say when it will happen the doom is inevitable yet there had been such possibilities in historical times also, prehistorical times also. But we faced with a kind of smirk, dallying towards doom and we know that it is inevitable. Yet, we are facing it with a kind of great, great in the sense facing it with a kind of so that is what we have even though we are facing in different directions and yet we face all things with innocence and sometimes with surprise so this is we will sidestep and we will and still the capacity to love still remains and that is the positive in human beings आता आपण बऱ्याचशा निगेटिव्ह पोर्ट्रियल्स पाहिले आता ह्युमन सिलिंडर्स पाहिले आपण प्रिल्यूड्स पाहिले इनसेन्सिबिलिटी सारखी पोयम पाहिली बट वॉट इज चॅपलिनेस चॅपलिनेस बेसिकली द टायटल रेफर्स टू अ काइंड ऑफ ज्याला आपण म्हणतो की इझी अप्रोच टुवर्ड्स लाईफ सो यू नो वॉट इज गोइंग टू हॅपन देन वाय वाय डू यू वरी अबाउट इट right let it happen when it has to happen right you have to live life in a way positive manner and yet these fine collapses are not lies more than the pirouettes of any pliant plan so these fine collapses so what what fine collapses probably disasters that come in life are not lies they are they are more than the pirouettes of any pliant craig pliant cane cane is stick especially bamboo stick it is pliant it can be bent right and it can spin that is what so pirouette is like dancing right on one leg spinning around yourself of any pliant cane our obsequies that is funeral rites are in a way no enterprise in a way no enterprise right so this death has been ruling the world since times unknown so that is not a surprise that is not a surprise we are living with death that is not a surprise we can evade you so who is this you referred to probably death right we can evade right kadhi kadhi apan mhanu ki mrutyu la apan kay mhanto tela evade karu chap kadhi kadhi right so sometimes apan mhanto ki mrutyu la thodkyat apan chakwa dila tya padane so we can evade you and all else but the heart what blame to us if the heart live on if the heart lives on this is not our blame if we live on even after our death right in some or some some or other form then it is not blame to us right so manje kai ki dusra view ha hai ki life uh, is continuous right 
फॉर्म्स चेंज बॉडी चेंज बट ज्यादा एक चैतन्य है सृष्टि मध्य कंटिन्ू है ना सो इन दैट वे इट 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 लिव ऑन द गेम एन फोर्सेस स्मार्क्स सो दिस रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ डन्स सॉनेट डेथ बी नॉट प्राउड डेथ बी नॉट प्राउड राइट सो दाउ शाल डाय वन डे राइट अशा पद्धतीची पोयम आहे ती सो दॅट इज अ काइंड ऑफ कन्सिड ज्याला आपण म्हणू की तो एक दुर्दम्य असा आशावाद किंवा इच्छावाद जो आहे तर दॅट इज वॉट इज ए गेम एन फॉरसेस मार्क्स मार्क इज नॉट अन इनोसंट स्माइल्स मार्क इज स्माइल विथ अ कन्सिट right and that is what happens a game and what kind of game probably game of life that is what this poet wants to suggest the game of life in process marks but we have seen the moon in lonely alleys make a grail of laughter of an empty ash can so what is said but we have seen the moon making grail of laughter kasha pasun empty ash can इन लोनली एलेज वेअर देर इज नो बडी नाही लोनली एलेज एलेज म्हणजे गल्ले आहेत किंवा स्पेसेस आहेत तिथं मून काय करतोय तर ग्रेल ऑफ लाफ्टर कशांना बनवतोय एम टी आय स्कॅन म्हणजे हे सिम्बॉलिक आहे राईट सो जे आपल्याला लाईफ मिनिंगलेस वाटत असलं एम टी वाटत असलं तर इट इज वी हू हॅव टू गिव्ह मिनिंग टू इट इवन वी आर ऑल अलो नाही द मून डज दॅट so symbolically that is what is expected to be done and through all sound of great all sound of gaiety happiness and quest have heard a kitten in the wilderness so the kitten survives and we also survive right in its wilderness wilderness having no company and wilderness also refers to you are excited state of mind right responding uh, so this is what uh, we must upon one like read this poem as a kind of comment on life and very serious comment on life uh, this came upon one like in the times where uh, all the negative portrayals were dominant prevalent uh, in modern times so uh, human cylinder sarkhi poem asal त्याच्यानंतर आपण प्रेटी हाऊ टाऊन ई कमिंग्स स्टडी केला सो ई कमिंग्स ची जी पोएम आहे आपण स्टडी केलेली दॅट इज समथिंग लाईक ए पॅस्टोरल काइंड ऑफ थिंग वाय पॅस्टोरल इवन इफ इट इज नॉट इन रुरल सेटिंग इट इज नॉट इन रुरल सेटिंग पॅस्टोरल सेटिंग तरी पण ती पॅस्टोरल सारखी वाटते त्याचं कारण यू हॅव लॉट ऑफ सीझन्स नॅचरल एलिमेंट मेन्शन इट राईट अँड एनी वन अँड नन right their burial side by side and all those things yes sir right urban settings poem konti vatte human cylinder sarkhi poem hai kiwa prelude sarkhi poem hai where you have kiwa uh, on westminster bridge apan study kelele ahe ted hughes ji tar tya sagla urban setting cha poem hai tas hi ji jari town vishayi asli tari e coming chi ji poem ahe ti tashi vatat right so it it is a kind of uh, very common uh, rural happy life right even though uh, uh, not many people loved anybody that appears in that poem this is in a way a comment on life uh, that actually uh, that actually is positive side of human beings instead of all the negatives facing two world wars and the situations which were extremely negative uh, human beings uh, still have capacity for love left in them capacity to fight even though they are content even though uh, they are happy with whatever they have uh, they still have that capacity for love and still they have positive approach towards life so the last stanza which reflects about making apan mhanto ki kachrya pasun kai tari productive banavnyachi mansachi ji pravrutti ahe jivanamade artha nasla tari artha bharnyachi mansachi ji pravrutti ahe ani it is a kind of quest jala apan mhanto an ending journey right so you you don't know whether you will achieve it or not achieve it 
राईट म्हणजे द क्वेस्ट फॉर होली ग्रेल इज अ काइंड ऑफ आर्किटायपल इमेज और आपण म्हणू की आर्किटायपल डिव्हाइस इन वेस्टर्न लिटरेचर सो फाइंडिंग ट्राईंग टू फाइंड द रेमनंट्स ऑफ क्रिस्त राईट तर हे हे जे आहे दॅट इज ह्युमन लाईफ इज लाईक दॅट क्वेस्ट trying to find trying to fill life with meaning so this is something opposite to the existentialism and the absurdity that was filled that filled the literary spaces right between two war two world wars and after the second world war so absurd theater waiting for godot sarka vishay ahe tar to waiting for godot sarka jo vishay ahe to kay ahe ki life is meaningless this reflection is our communication is broken right and all the accepted traditional uh, values and notions uh, decorum asel ki wa norms aste literature che he sagal violate karne he sagal bajula thevane useless ahe asha paddhatine reflect karna he modernity madhe pan jalo ani de post modern times madhe pan jalo post modern manje after second world war ani modern manje between two world wars ha time span hai to echa madle specifically te literature te characteristic ghun yeta तसं हे हार्ड क्रेनची जी पोएम आहे ती सुद्धा मॉडर्न टाइम्स मध्ये एक एक्झिस्टेन्शियालिझमच जे डॉमिनन्स होता त्याच्यात थोडीशी वेगळी वाटते बरोबर का नाही सो आपण आपण चापलीन चार्ली चापलीनच्या काही क्लिप्स पाहिले असतील तर दॅट इज विच इज समथिंग समथिंग लाईक स्लॅपस्टिक ह्युमर किंवा असा खूप ज्याला आपण म्हणतो की इंटेलिजंट ह्युमर किंवा हाय ह्युमर काइंड ऑफ थिंग नाही आहे म्हणजे इट इज ऍज गुड एज डार्क ह्युमर असं पण म्हटलं जातं किंवा ब्लॅक ह्युमर असं पण म्हटलं जातं ब्लॅक ह्युमर काय म्हटलं जातं की यू आर ट्राईंग टू लाफ ऍट ऑल द निगेटिव दॅट लाईफ थ्रोज ऍट यू राईट अँड यू नो दॅट दिस इज गोईंग टू हॅपन दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल येट यू लाफ ऍट इट राईट सो दॅट काइंड ऑफ ह्युमर स्लॅपस्टिक ह्युमर म्हणजे काही छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टीवर हास्य उत्पन्न करणं म्हणजे फिजिकल डिस्टॉर्शन्स आहेत किंवा डॅमेजेस आहेत किंवा एखादा केळीच्या सालेवरनं घसरून पडला तर त्याला हसायचं का मदत करायची हा प्रश्न पण ते त्या कॉन्टेक्स्ट मध्ये ज्या कॉन्टेक्स्ट मध्ये चार्ली चापलेनचं फिल्मिंग होत तर दॅट अपियर्स टू बी काइंड ऑफ बट लॉट ऑफ हिज हिज आपण म्हणू की वर्क हॅज सोशल मेसेजेस तर त्या पद्धतीचा जो मेसेज आहे या पोएम मध्ये पण आहे इट्स अ लिव्ह ऑन लाईफ इन ऑल इट्स विल्डरनेस इवन दो इट अपियर्स टू बी ऍपसर्ड फाईन राईट सो अशा पद्धतीचा पॉझिटिव्ह मेसेज या पोएमचा आहे ठीक आहे सो इट इज एट फोर्टी फाईव्ह अँड वी एंड दिस सेशन हिअर